Mm. I used to be like really addicted to these chips, but I took a break from them and I recently bought like two bags because they were on sale and um, the addiction I think is starting back. There's a quote that says, believing and investing in yourself is the best way to shift your thinking from a paradigm of excuses to one of solutions. I believe that everybody should be investing in themselves. And when I say investing in yourself, I mean self-educating yourself in every area of your life. So I wanna say maybe a few years ago is when I started to kinda invest in myself in different areas of my life. And one of the ways that I do this is by reading books. These five books have basically impacted almost every single area of my life, from financial to career to relationships and friendships and basically on that spectrum. The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. So this book guides you through the process towards financial freedom. And one of the biggest things that Dave talks about is getting out of debt and how it's truly going to lead you towards building wealth and towards financial freedom. One of the biggest things that I've, well, two of the biggest things that I've took away from this book, and if I can sum it up, is discipline and patience is what is going to lead you towards success in your finances. Like, one of the biggest things for me, um, which maybe other people have um, also felt this way, is that when it came to my finances, I kind of never knew where my money was going. Like, I was kind of, like, always broke or really didn't have any money, and I didn't know what was, what was happening to my money. Even though I could see the transactions, somehow I still really didn't have a clue. And basically, this book helped me see, and it's really simple, but I really needed to learn how to budget. And the book doesn't really, it doesn't really teach you how to budget. It just says that before you do anything, getting on a, getting on a written budget is what you should do first and foremost above anything. And that is something that I still take with me today. Like I'm not perfect when it comes to my finances because I still, I still got a long way to go. But one of the biggest things that I've truly learned was that I need to be on a written budget. I came to realize that my money problems, worries, and shortages largely began and ended with the person in my mirror. Like after reading this book, I kind of became more disciplined with my spending, like um, cutting back on eating out, cutting back on um, sometimes Starbucks, and like just other small things like subscriptions, and it basically showed me, like, you know, money is valuable and that every small thing counts and adds up. Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. So this book has really changed the way that I think about my side hustle and my career. Every time I open this book, I get a new idea of what I can do through social media and just branding, basically. So I would say this book is for somebody who has a desire to create wealth from something that they love. Like, if you are passionate about something and you really don't see how you can make money off of it, this book truly tells you and shows you how you can truly make money off of something that you're passionate about through social media and personal branding. He goes through each social media platform and basically shows you how to use that platform to your advantage. The thing I like about this book is that Gary tells it how it is. Like, there is no quick or easy way to being successful in life, neither on these platforms. He knows and he says that it takes a lot and a lot and a lot of hustle. Crushing it follows the law of thermodynamics. Whatever energy you put into something will manifest itself in equal amounts when it comes out. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Many of you already probably heard about this, but this book is The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. And it basically describes five languages of love that we all express, that we all speak, and that we all desire and need in our life. When your spouse's emotional love tank is full and he or she feels secure in your love, the whole world looks bright and your spouse will move out to reach his or her highest potential in life. This book really made me see how people show and express their love. And I kind of already had an idea of my love language, but this book goes really into detail. 
like for example in my love language which is where the top one is um, quality time but in the book it basically tells you that there are different dialects of your love language for example in my love language for quality time there is uh, quality activities that's part of the love language there's quality conversation and things like that this book is not just for romantic relationships you can use the love languages in any relationship that you have like he has also multiple books about um, for children and for um, for friendships and stuff like that so you can also begin to speak love languages of your friends and the people you know and basically see how they desire and how they express to be loved the Power of a Praying Wife by Stormy Omardian. So they say that if you don't know how to do something or if you've never done something before, you should invest in basically trying to figure out how to do that thing and how to be successful in it. So when I got engaged, and even before I got engaged I actually, I knew that I've never been married before so I needed to, you know, educate myself and just better myself in that area so that I can be the best wife that I could possibly be. So one of the things that I got was this book. This book really, um, of course, it teaches you specifically how to pray, like targeted prayers as a wife, but it also, above anything else, like the first, uh, first I wanna say two or three chapters really deal with you as a person, as a wife, and it, it hit home. It hit home a little bit because it's just really humbling. That's I would say it's really humbling because it really shows you how to self-reflect and basically how that this book won't be like a pointing fingers and it's not like a oh he did this and all this stuff it really shows you how to self-reflect how to look in yourself to see if you're you know basically doing what you need to do as a wife so that you doing what you need to do as a woman so that you can do what you need to do as a wife this power is not given to wield like a weapon in order to beat back an unruly beast it's a gentle tool of restoration appropriated through the prayers of a wife who longs to do right more than be right and to give life more than get even. This book is very powerful and I reference it like every other day in my prayers and it really changes you as a person. It really helped me develop and grow spiritually as far as looking for scriptures that relate to certain prayers. If you're married, if you're engaged, if you're dating and you desire to be married, I do suggest reading this book if you are a wife and if you're a husband and if you're a man, I would suggest reading The Power of a Praying Husband to gain more clarity and insight on yourself and also your future spouse. This book changes my life every single day and if you've guessed it it is the bible this book is the best book in my entire life and not because that i'm a christian but that it impacts every single area of your life and i didn't really understand that until maybe a few years ago is when i really started to read the bible because before then i was like it is um I'm, I'm kind of bored and I don't understand it, but yeah, through going to church and the church that I go through, my pastor breaks down the word a lot till he gives you understanding about what the scriptures are saying. And so from then on, I just found different tools and resources trying to figure out and understand this book even more. It has wisdom, it has knowledge on yourself, on friendships, on money, on, on every single area of your life. And people won't really see how important the Bible is and how it can affect every area of their life until they actually read it. And I would suggest if you read and if you desire to read, truly read the Bible, get an understanding, get translations. The best translations that I have read and that I continue to use is the Amplified version and the NLT version. They break it down like in American English in a way that you can understand and comprehend it. So thank you guys for watching this video up until this point. Um, if you have any questions about the book, just let me know in the comments or DM me if that's still a thing, whatever you want to do. And leave a comment and say what your favorite books are, what you're reading currently, 
and what some books that you want to read in the future. Don't forget to like it if that's what you want to do, subscribe because you want to see more videos, and to leave a comment down below in the description. So thank you so much again. Peace.